Hey everyone, this is a video about a pretty classic related rates problem, and I'm just going to read the question out to you. So we've got the volume of a cube is decreasing at a rate of 0.5 cubic centimeters per second. What is the rate of change of the side length when the side length is 12 centimeters? So the first thing we're going to do is think, what kind of formula can we use for the volume of a cube? Well, let's just draw a quick picture of a cube. So, because it's a cube, that tells us that the length of this side, the length of this side, and the length of this side are all the same measure. So, for us to use the formula for the volume of a cube, that would be length times width times height, but in this in this case, length is equal to width is equal to height. They're all the same length. So instead of that formula, we're just going to use sort of a variation of it. We're going to say volume is side times side times side, which would be the same as side cubed. We also know that the rate of volume is decreasing, so we're going to write a negative sign, decreasing at a rate of 0 0.5 cubic centimeters per second. So let's think what cubic centimeters per second is. Cubic centimeters is a unit of volume. Seconds is a unit of time. Because it's a rate, we're going to think of the 0 0.5 as the change in volume over the change in time. We're also told that the length of the side is 12 centimeters, and we're asked what is the rate of change of the side length when the length is 12 centimeters. So at 12 centimeters, we want to know the change in height with respect to the change in time. The change in height, we said that height is equal to s. So I'm just going to write ds dt instead of dh dt. So we need to take the derivative of the formula for volume of a cube. So when I do that, with respect to time, I'll get dv over dt on this side. The derivative of s cubed would be 3s squared times ds dt, which is the chain rule going from s cubed to 3s squared ds dt. So now all I need to do is plug in some of this information for my variables. So dv dt, we said that was negative 0.5 cubic centimeters per second. And ds dt is what we're trying to find, so we don't know that. But we know that at the side length equals 12 centimeters is where we're looking for the rate. So we'll drop in 12 centimeters for s. So let's simplify that as far as we can. 12 squared is 144, and 144 times 3 equals 432. So we have negative 0 0.5 equals 432 times ds dt. If you divide both sides by 432, you'll get negative 0 0.5 over 432 equals ds over dt. So, so far so good. We have what we're trying to find on one side and we have something without any variables on the other side. All we need to do is negative 0 0.5 divided by 432 and I get negative 0 0.001157. And let's think about our units. ds is the length of a side, so that would be measured in centimeters. And dt is the unit of time. In this example, it was measured in seconds. So our answer would be the rate of change of a side when h equals 12 is negative 0.001157 centimeters per second.